The Achilles tendon is the thickest and strongest tendon within the body, although occasionally it is exposed to stresses which make it susceptible to injury. Injuries to the Achilles tendon commonly occur when forces placed on the tendon exceed its tensile limits. The Achilles tendon is a strong, fibrous cord that connects the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles to the calcaneal tuberosity. Common causes of injuries to the Achilles tendon include repetitive or sudden increases of stress placed on the tendon, an increase in exercise intensity, not allowing recovery time between exercises, decreased range of motion due to tightening of the calf muscles, and bone spurs which cause rubbing against the tendon. The two most common types of injury to the Achilles tendon include Achilles tendonitis and Achilles tendon rupture. Tendonitis involving the Achilles tendon is painful and often debilitating. Chronic inflammation of the Achilles tendon is due to stresses, micro tears, and is also a result of inflammation and scar formation. Achilles tendonitis may lead to pain in the back of the heel, occasional swelling due to thickening of the tendon, and often occurs in athletes such as runners. Treatment of Achilles tendonitis includes anti-inflammatory medications, physical therapy utilizing the active release technique, massage therapy, ice therapy, immobilization, and injections. Techniques for injection often include prolotherapy, platelets, and needling. Techniques for injections are performed with or without ultrasound guidance. However, they are still within the investigative phase. It is advised not to inject steroid directly into the tendon. The goal of treating Achilles tendonitis is to reduce stress on the tendon. In rare or resistant cases, surgery is sometimes needed. Rupture of the Achilles tendon can be either partial or complete. A rupture of the tendon may occur suddenly, without warning, or as a result of tendonitis. The patient will often feel or hear a pop in the ankle when the tendon ruptures. This is followed by the presence of sharp pain in the back of the ankle. As a result of the tendon rupturing, the foot may become floppy and weak. And finally, the patient feels as if they have been kicked in the back of the ankle where the tendon has ruptured. The Thompson test is a clinical evaluation test used to assess the integrity of the Achilles tendon. With the patient lying prone on the examination table, the examiner will squeeze the calf muscles of the affected leg. Slight plantar flexion of the ankle is a normal response to this examination when there is no presence of a rupture. However, if the Achilles tendon is ruptured, there is no plantar flexion or movement of the ankle in response to squeezing of the calf muscles. Surgery is done by exposing the torn tendon through an incision in the skin. The ends of the tendon are cleaned and approximated. Once the tendon has been cleaned, repair of the ruptured tendon can be done with sutures. The Thompson test is once again performed to check the integrity of the Achilles tendon after repair. A cast or splint is used for 46 weeks postoperatively, then physical therapy is initiated.